Hi, we are looking at how to classify quadrilaterals today, and the main thing that we're going to look at here is in terms of where we have parallel sides, possibly, or where we have sides that are being congruent, or angles that are being congruent. So, every four-sided shape is a quadrilateral, but we can make it a little more specific for some. For example, the trapezoid, if we have parallel sides, that's the most uh, basic thing that we can break down the quadrilateral into is we can call the trapezoid if we have these parallel sides. And the parallel sides are called the bases. Now the other thing we can do if we have congruent sides, congruent sides instead of parallel sides, is we can have a kite where we have these pairs of congruent sides. They must be consecutive though. They must be right next to each other. Now beyond that, we have kind of a hierarchy that's going on here and that we can move forward uh, from that. Uh, remember, a trapezoid had one pair of parallel sides. If the other sides, the legs, if they happen to be parallel as well, we have what's called a parallelogram. So, two pairs now of parallel sides. And that's why we call it right here, it's a special trapezoid where the legs are also parallel. And then for the parallelogram, we can break it down even further. Say we have these parallel sides, but now all the angles are right angles, like we have down here. That's a rectangle, which we're all very familiar with, I'm sure. We see rectangles a lot. If you have four right angles, you're guaranteed to have a rectangle. Now, from there, uh, we can look at it another way. If we had that parallelogram, but now all four sides are the exact same length, then we have what's called a rhombus. Now, rhombus, we can look at it from terms of parallelogram or from terms of a kite. So, if I had, here's my parallelogram, for example, and I went and I kind of, you know, shrunk it down like this. Now I have a rhombus where all four sides are in sync. I can do the same thing with a kite. So here's my kite, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to go this way and shrink it down this way. Now they're all the same size again. Now I have a uh, rhombus instead of a kite. So that's why a rhombus can actually be a bunch of different things as well. And now a square, pretty much you combine everything that you have. Uh, it's a quadrilateral, you have parallel sides, two pairs of parallel sides, right angles, and all sides being congruent. All of the above, that's where the square comes in. Mainly you're looking at the four congruent sides and four congruent angles. So here's the hierarchy that I was talking about. And mainly it's can we go from one step to the next. I mean, it's a quadrilateral. If we have a pair of parallel sides, then we have the trapezoid. If we had congruent sides that are consecutive, right next to each other, that's when we had the kite. And then from there, it's just moving down. Right? To, from trapezoid to parallelogram, I needed uh, two pairs now of parallel sides. That's all we needed to have a trapezoid to go into a parallelogram. For rectangle, from a parallelogram, we needed just right angles to get from parallelogram to rectangle. From parallelogram to rhombus, we needed congruent sides to occur. If I went from rhombus to a square, I already have from here five, now I need my right angle. And if I went from rectangle to square, well, square and rectangle both have right angle. The issue right now is to get the congruent side. So this is congruent side here. And then up here, for a kite, from tight rhombus, we said that we just need to have uh, all sides being congruent. And there's your hierarchy, and that's what we have for quadrilaterals.